Hi folks, it's uh, Steve here from Analytics in Action. What I want to do today is give you a bit of an overview of how to learn um, SQL Server integration services. Um, often when you have to, I suppose, learn a new technology, it, it's quite hard to um, actually figure out where to, where to start and actually work out a plan of attack and, uh, to keep yourself up to speed and, and competent with the tool. Um, so that's essentially what I want to try and do today, is give you a few suggestions and a bit of a syllabus really on um, how to um, approach learning uh, SQL Server integration services. So what I'll do, um, I'll talk about the objective of this uh, video tutorial. I'll uh, also talk about why you might want to use SQL Server integration services, go through a process of um, explaining how to get information on installing SQL Server, the various components of, um, of SQL in general. Then I'll talk about, um, get down to the sort of nitty gritty, um, um, get down to the nitty gritty and talk about the building blocks of um, integration services, how to manage um, things like errors, some common ones you'll get. Then also talk about a framework and actually how to get help. Because invariably when you're learning a tool, you get to a stage where you perhaps you can't figure out um, how um, a solution, if you can say getting an error, but there's lots and lots of great resources out there to actually um, help you answer questions and um, so you're not going to get roadblocked at, at um, a particular stage of learning the tool. Then I'll talk about other other resources uh, that might be uh, helpful as well. So first of all, the, um, the objective of this um, tutorial is it's really about tying together the various YouTube training videos um, that I've already produced. I've, I've produced, I think, about 40 to 50 um, training videos, um, primarily on integration services. So what I want to really do is just give you a bit of an overview that will tie together all of these individual um, videos into a sort of a logical syllabus or plan of attack to learn integration services. So. First of all, why would you actually want to use integration services? Well, it's um, first of all, I'll just talk about actually what it does. It's what you call a extract, transform, load tool. So it pulls information in from multiple locations, performs transformations such as merging files together or aggregating data, and then it shoots it off to a destination. So in that sense, it actually solves one of the key, pro one of the fundamental problems that businesses have these days is how to actually integrate data. And once that data is integrated, obviously it becomes useful to the business. Um, the nice thing about integration services uh, compared to a lot of the other, say, business intelligence and data warehousing sort of tools out there is it's really easy to use and it's um, driven by graphical user interface. And you can go, you can do a lot more, at least I feel you can do a lot more of this tool um, straight from the graphical user interface than, say, you might be able to, than you can do with, say, um, other tools, um, other business intelligence tools, such as, say, um, SAS Enterprise Guide or um, any of those um, ra ra broad range of tools out there, SPSS also. Um, so I think it's a great tool. Um, the nice thing is that it's a um, part of a really full featured um, business intelligence, really sweet that Microsoft. Um, Microsoft produces, and I'll actually talk about that a little bit further down about this uh, quadrant metric, uh, Gartner metric quadrant um, analysis. Um, it's also fairly cheap to license, particularly from a learning perspective. You can get a, uh, a copy for uh, for less than fifty dollars, or you can download a, a hundred and eighty day trial version for for, for free. Um, so that means it's really accessible if you actually want to learn how to use the tool. You can also run it on, say, a laptop, as opposed to having to run it on a really big grunty grunty server. Um, Another brilliant thing is that um, there's lots and lots of um, learning material out there, such as my videos on YouTube, forums, blogs. So being a, a very popular tool, as you know, a lot of Microsoft products are, there's no shortage of information. I found that some of the more specialist um, niche tools in the business analysis area, if you run into a problem, um, it's just something that can be quite hard to actually get get information on how to how to fix it. You know, there may be consultants out there, but you have to pay for it. Nice thing about um, SQL Server, lots of free, free information out there. So I'll just go back and actually talk about the um, uh, about it actually being quite a full featured um, analytical tool. So I'll actually just refer back. 
back to my website, analyticsinaction.com, and talk about some research that was done recently um, uh, by Gartner. Each year they produce a, um, a basically a, a review of the business intelligence vendors and tools and basically rank them on two sort of axes, the ability to execute and the completeness of vision. And what we see is Microsoft features really, really well. Um, so it's both has a high ability to execute and it has a really good complete vision in terms of how its tools cover the um, range, the I suppose the business intelligence spectrum. So it has um, things like you know integration services, but it also has great analytical um, engines such as analysis services. It has a reporting component. It has um, it has you know scheduling, so you can schedule reports. So it's a in, in that sense, it's a it it, fit, it ranks really well against other tools. And when you combine that with um, with other factors such as the price and the um, um, information out there, I think it's a, a great place for um, someone who's um, learning about business intelligence needs to develop skills. I think it's a great uh, it's a great starting point um, for you. Okay, so. Um, one of the first things you probably want to do if you, um, if you want to learn about integration services is that you need to install SQL Server. SQL Server Integration Services is a component of SQL Server. Um, great thing is, as I mentioned before, you can install it on a laptop. Um, you can install lots and lots of various components, but the easiest thing to do is a um, full feature install. So it will be um, all of the key components such as the uh, integration services, um, analysis services, I've just got a spelling there, that's not ECSIS, it should be ECSAS, SQL Server Analysis Services, but um, also you have uh, reporting tools, SQL Server reporting services, and it also has all the predictive mining, uh, sorry, data mining, predictive modeling stuff. Um, what I've done, I've got a video on, um, on installing um, SQL Server, so here we go, just um, go into my, uh, onto my website and just do a search for installing SQL Server um, 2008 onto a PC and that will um, walk you through step by step how to install it. Um, so that's probably the first thing you want to do. Like I say, you don't actually have to buy a copy, you can also download a, uh, a free evaluation copy, although um, I think it's all, it's all the, um, the $50 you pay for the developer edition of SQL Server is a uh, sort of bargain, I think. So that's the first thing you want to do. Um, in this um, in, uh, video, I'll refer back to the website quite a lot, and the reason I want to do that, rather than actually being too, um, it, rather than just want to drive traffic to my site, I just find it's probably a bit easier for you as well, because it has all the hyperlinks there. It's a bit hard to put the hyperlinks into the YouTube video. So, um, so when, when you get down to the nitty gritty of um, SQL, um, SQL Server Integration Services, there's there's two key building blocks. There's connection managers and there's transformations. So connection managers allow SQL, uh, allow integration services to connect to a data source, um, and so what it does there's a you always want to connect to a data source to bring data in. You can actually connect to multiple sources such as um, a SQL data, such as SQL databases, um, text files, CSVs, you name it, um, SQL Server can pretty, uh, integration service can pretty much connect to it. So you have that connection coming into uh, integration services, but once you've done, you've transformed your data, you also want to send it off to a destination as well. So it has a destination uh, connection manager well, as well. So you may want to fire it off to a, uh, a data, database, a data warehouse, or even say an Excel file or a text file. Um, so that takes care of data coming into and out of integration services. But a lot, the real grunt work is really done with transformations. So transformations basically allow you to do, manipulate the data in a number of different ways. And um, there are eight key transformations. Um, and these basically do things like, I'll just flip on to the next one, allow you to, say, merge data sources. They allow you to filter data sources, you can sort data sources, um, you can do data conversion, so if you're pulling in, say, a text file, you can then turn that into numeric data, so you can then aggregate 
information. You can do things like multicast the, um, the, the, the data set so you can send the same data set off in two different directions. So you might want to send one off to, a, to the sales team, plus you may want to send another one off to, say, a manager. So, um, so that's, um, that's uh, another transformation. You can also do things like derive columns. So, for example, if you wanted to split a name out into the, say, a first name and second name, the um, a derived column allows you to derive those two components out. I think, as I mentioned before, you can also aggregate, so sum, uh, do sums and uh, counts and all that sort of stuff. And then union alls, which is essentially like appending two data sets onto each other, so you might have a, say, a leads file from, uh, from one week, you want to append it to the bottom of a leads file in the next week. Um, but, you know, those are the eight um, commonly used transformations that I, that I tend to use. Um, but there are stacks and stacks of um, other ones as well. So what I've done um, in, uh, on my website here, if you click onto the Learning SQL Server Integration Services tab, um, I pretty much have the text transcript of this, um, of this tutorial um, as, a, as a blog post. If you go down... Um, to the building blocks of um, integration services. I talk about these eight basic building blocks, and you can just click on the link, and it'll take you through to the YouTube um, YouTube video there. So um, that's probably the easiest thing uh, for you to do is to um, um, jump across and have a look at the, uh, the blog, the text on the blog, and. Um, and, um, and follow uh, and basically learn that way. But walking through, so onto this next um, slide. So as I mentioned, um, those are the eight key transformations, but there's a stack of other things, things that will do um, transformations like pivots, like a pivot table does within Excel or a cross tab does within Access. You can do things like lookup um, data, um, so lookup table, which is like a V lookup within Excel, so you can do stacks and stacks of stuff. So once you've actually got up to speed with those those basic building blocks and um, those transformations, um, you'll probably start building um, small solutions to actually um, get your head around it. What you'll invariably um, you're going to run into um, a few errors and it'll, it'll throw up some uh, some errors. But the good thing is integration service is not a particular buggy or an intuitive tool. Um, but you do run into a, um, um, you know, some some common errors, um, so things like truncation errors and white space errors. But again, I've covered these. I've got links to these common errors and how to get help on them on the uh, on the site. So things like truncation errors. Um, again, got a um, got a video here. About you know, identifying and fixing truncation errors. So again, just follow through those um, those links. Um, so what else? Um, getting help. Okay. So good thing about integration services, as I mentioned before, there is a stack of information on the web. Um, one of the most useful um, uh, sources of information is the MSDN social forum, so MSDN um, integration services, SQL Server integration services, probably one of the most active um, forums on the uh, on the internet. Quite often when you say post a, a problem, you say, oh, I'm getting this error message, you'll probably get an answer back, you typically get an answer back within say, an hour, depending on where you're in the world in relation to um, the United States and India, which are the, those are the guys who are most active on the, uh, on the forum. Um, also, um, another way is if you run into, say, a technical solution where someone comes back and uh, says, oh, yeah, that's a really unusual um, problem. Probably the only way you can fix it with is with a bit of scripting. If you don't have scripting skills, you know, uh, um, that can run be a problem. But what you can do is you can go on to, say, elance.com and say, look, I need to uh, have a little bit, get a little bit of script written for integration services. Um, can someone do it? you can then get a job done like that very quickly for very little. So um, what I've got again on the website is a, uh, a 
is a link. Okay, so this is actually just a link to the integration services um, forum. So social MSDN. Oh, it's the yeah, social MSDN Microsoft.com, and has obviously has stats and stats of questions there. I would highly recommend going there and uh, getting familiar with that. And um, it's um, one of the best resources out there. Um, also, I've got another video here on basically a simple framework solves technical problems. And what I do with this um, uh, in this video is basically explain you know, a basically a problem solving framework. So if you get an error with an integration services, how you would actually tackle that and get a um, and get that error fixed very very quickly. Uh, so that involves both um, the MSDN forum plus also outsourcing stuff to uh, to um, to elance.com. So right on to I think the last slide here. Okay, that's pretty much it. Um, so I think that gives you a bit of an overview on how to um, on how you might want to tackle learning integration services. Um, I recommend going across and actually having a look at the site, uh, my site, analyticsinaction.com, and click on the Learning SIS tab at the top, and really just follow all of the, follow the links, um, and, um, and if you have any questions, feel free to uh, drop me a, uh, an email on the uh, website, or uh, even a comment in the um, YouTube um, comments and I'll do my best to get back to you as um, as quickly as possible. Um, and also, what you may find useful is actually subscribing to uh, my uh, my YouTube uh, channel as well. So just click the click the subscribe button uh, on YouTube, and um, you'll get um, you'll get up uh, you'll get um, alerted whenever I produce another video, which I try and do on every say one to two. Wings.